go from being outgoing, energetic, interested in the world, and happy to reclusive, they want to spend all their time in their room. How young is too young for kids to have the internet in their pocket? Smartphones. Colorado is looking at the idea of banning smartphone sales to anybody under age 13. Now that idea has some parents wondering what's wrong with giving a tween a smartphone. So we sent Mary Pulley to get some answers for you. Working for you, she's here now with what she learned tonight, Mary. That's right, guys. Well, this is certainly a common complaint for parents. Kids always on their phones, not paying attention, not being physically active because of devices like smartphones. But is outlawing them for teens really the right move? Well intentioned, yes. Effective, not necessarily, says tech expert Burton Kelso when speaking about the proposed teenager smartphone ban in Colorado. I mean, there's no law that's going to govern or that should govern how we allow our kids to um, utilize technology. Colorado State Senator John Kafalas agrees, saying in part the issue should remain a family matter. Meanwhile, Kelso, who's also a father, says he's well aware of the concerns associated with tweens and tech. And it can become addictive because a lot of the apps are designed to keep you addicted and keep you plugged in. Ever-changing apps meant for adults that somehow become popular with the underaged or even gaming apps that have chatting features. Parents don't realize that there may be a chatting feature involved in these apps so that kids can that are trying to chat with their friends may encounter a, a pedophile. But instead of banning smartphones, Kelso says parents should set limits for devices and be made aware of all of the dangers. There's sort of a sweet spot to media and to social technology use. Local uh, pediatrician Dr. Jennifer Mellig says there are some benefits to allowing kids to use technology, including smartphones. It's been found in some research that um, kids who are engaged at an appropriate age can find connection with other people that they may not necessarily find in a school setting or a sports setting. Dr. Mellick and Burton Kelso agree that overuse can lead to negative impacts on a kid's mental and physical health. Now the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends parents of children aged two to five years limit screen use to one hour per day of high quality programs. That's stuff that's uh, educational. Uh, for kids ages six and older parents should place consistent limits on media use and make sure it doesn't interfere with things like sleep, exercise, and family time. And the Academy says media usage isn't one size fits all. That's why they've created a calculator that can help you figure out what's right for your kids. We'll post a link at fox4kc.com. Mary Pulley, Fox 4 News, working for you. Get ready to save big during the holiday mattress event at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Any size, one low price, king, queen, full or twin, plus all mattresses on sale.